Day. Hello and welcome to another episode of The Wave. This week we're going to be doing a series on artists and musicians right here in Port Alberni. That's right, in Port Alberni there are lots of good talents here and I have one of them as my guest today. I'm Don Texan coming to you as The Wave host, wonderful Alberni Valley experience. I'm broadcasting via Zoom, live from my home, and I am alone, okay? So if there's any controversy or complaints or whatever, you can go take a hike. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> I am alone. I have uh, been in isolation. I think today's day 41 for me or 42. So my guest today is one of our uh, good artists, one of our talented artists right here in Portal Bernie. Our uh, Bernie has talent, whether you're going to believe it or not. I've heard him sing. He's a singer, composer, and he has a band, and we're going to be talking about that. I'd like you to all welcome, please. Kyler Perry Glenn. Did I get your name right, Mr. Glenn? You did. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what is your connection to Port Alberni's, Kyler? Um, well, I was born and raised here, so mm -hmm. pretty deep-rooted connection. In terms You've never of... been away and then came back, like most Albernians? Uh, I, I lived in Nanaimo for about a year, but other than that, it's, I've, I've been here most of my life. So. Okay, perfect. Yep. And so I met Skyler because, you know, I was out all night, every Friday night and Saturday night, we're out doing karaoke. And I <laughs> saw Skyler, and sooner or later, Skyler dropped out of the karaoke scene and came back with a band. And tell me a little bit about your band, Skyler. Yeah, for sure. Um, our band is called Swan Ronson. Uh, we're all based out of Port Alberni. And uh, we play, we play a variety of of stuff, mainly mainly alternative rock, um, little funky stuff. We play a little slower stuff. We, we try to branch out as much as we can. So mm -hmm. there's kind of something for everybody, you know? And I understand you write your own songs. Like there's two of you in the band who write songs. You and what's the other guy's name? Yeah, uh, me and our guitarist, Richie Brown. We both we both write a lot of the songs. I, I mainly uh, write majority of them, but Richie... Richie does take the reins on a lot of songs. Okay. But you mentioned to me, like, you feel he has some kind of um, magical touch to the songs. Mm. How is that? <laughs> yeah, Richie, um, I th he was just kind of born with it, you know? Okay. Like, he, on some songs, I, it's just, he just knows exactly where the song should go, even from the smallest detail to just the tone of his guitar, the, the tones that he gets out of his guitar are out of this world. When we wow. did Battle of the Battle of the Bands uh, last year, that was uh -huh. one of the biggest things that everybody was saying. It was like, Richie, the did tones you're getting. Did you Battle of the getting. Bands as Swan Ronson or on a different band? Sorry, what's that? You did Battle of the Bands as your band Swan Ronson or? Yep. But was, okay. With the band. So how did yep. that turn out? It was great. It was great, actually. It was a huge, huge milestone for the band because before that, we played, you know, we, we were just doing small shows at, at the pub and and things like that and birthday parties and whatever. But mm -hmm. uh, Battle of the Bands was huge for us because there was there was all these bands from all over the island. Oh, and, wow. Uh, they were all incredible. Like, I, I felt I was like, I don't belong here. There's all these amazing <laughs> you talent. You, you have quite the talent. <laughs> so uh, when we were uh, discussing our pre-interview, so how many members of the band do you have? There's four of you? Uh, no, there's, there's five, actually. We okay, just, there's five. We just took on a, a keyboard player, and his name is Monty, and he is an incredible piano player, and he, he fit into our band like, like a glove. It, it was incredible. Okay. Yeah. So are you guys still able to practice and get together? I mean, you know, five's not a bad number to come together as long as you're all, you know, non-symptomatic or you've been safe and you've been practicing self-isolation and you wash your hands and you wear a mask or whatever. So are you able <laughs> to come and do sessions and jam together? Um, well, with this present crisis? Since the whole crisis started, we've kind of been taking it slow. We haven't really practiced in about a month and a half. And that's pretty much just because we, we all want to do our part. Okay, you know? of course, of course. Like, like I, I said myself as soon as it came here that I'm going to stop working and I'm just going to stay home because I, I want to do my part. 
to okay. to slow the spread and, and stay Fair home enough. and self isolate. But so we we've been prices, thinking about prices, what were you doing before the yeah were you working or um yeah I was I I work at the the liquor store on the highway. Oh, yeah, yeah, you told me about that. Yeah, Alberni Liquor. So I was working and practicing and uh, with the band and. Um, so I, what I, are your uh, so my day count is forty forty one. What's your day count? Um, Have you been counting your days or just you know taking it one day at a time and forgetting the, what? You know, yeah, I, I don't I don't count. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what day it is today. The only reason I know what day it is is because of the this meeting. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I sort of like pulled you back into chronology. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I'm curious about where can I find your music where can i listen to your music you guys have a youtube channel i suppose yep uh you can find our music on youtube soundcloud and i just started uploading on bandcamp as well if you want to to buy some of our songs oh, okay. um i did just change our youtube it used to be blue dream 47 but i just changed it to swan ronson so if you Perfect. if you look up swan ronson on youtube you'll find uh you'll find oh, our okay channel. So you have uh, a couple of songs there and a uh, YouTube channel on the name of Swan Ronson. Yep. Okay, so there's no more Bluebird, whatever that is. No, no, no more Bluebird. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, when we were uh, discussing uh, something prior to the in this actual interview, you mentioned to me a very interesting story of how the band came together. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, so... I guess I'll start from the very beginning. And um, so way back in the land of 2015, mm -hmm. um, I was just a boy and his guitar. And You're still um, a boy. <laughs> just a boy. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> and his guitar. So and, yeah, um, what are you? 12? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I was actually like 20. So okay, okay. I was not a boy. I was a. <laughs> I was definitely a young adult and his guitar. Um, anyway, I, I, I for my birthday, I got uh, some recording gear from my uncle, my cool. uncle Dan. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I didn't know anything about recording or mixing or any of that at the time, but I recorded a song and uh, it was a cover of a Lucy Rose song. And not a lot of people know who she is, but she's an incredible singer and 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 uh the cover was called shiver by lucy rose and um richie oh, it was <laughs> it, it's on soundcloud if you want to look it up it's not okay okay it's not great but um richie was the one who who reached out after he heard it and he was like hey man this is really good you should uh come hang out come jam and uh and that's what i did and um we we jammed for about a year that was about 2016 2017 mm -hmm. we jammed for about a year and we weren't really taking it too seriously it was yeah just you know, having fun yeah just just having fun kind of hanging out kind of thing and um like we, most boys do <laughs> yeah we we actually had a different name for ourselves back then and uh we were calling ourselves the ghouly boys Okay. <laughs> and, uh, so all the the well, OG inspired that just because you're from Portal Bernie, you're the good. <laughs> <laughs> basically, uh, basic. Yeah, we're just you know we're just from Portal Bernie. We're just some some ghoulish kids, you know, just, just okay. having fun. And uh, all all the OG fans out there will know of the Ghoulie Boys. <laughs> Did you post um, anything online on social media as the Ghouly Boys? Um, or no? No, no. Okay. We, we, we okay. weren't taking it seriously enough back okay. then. We, we can thank God for that. So. <laughs> <laughs> we were spared yeah. from the Ghouly Boys. Okay. It would, have been, it would have been something if we did, because the songs we were playing back then were, uh, <laughs> were pretty wild, to say the <laughs> least. Um, and then something happened. Yeah, so so after that we we took a break for a while and then uh it was about about late 2018 something like that or early 2018 uh we all got got back together and uh it was me and and Richie Richie Brown and Colton Richards and 
and our friend Jackson as well, he would hang out there. And um, we, we started taking it a bit more seriously. We started hanging out and jamming about once a week. And uh, unfortunately, um, our friend Jackson, he passed away suddenly out, out of nowhere. And uh, it, it, it hit us all pretty, pretty, pretty hard. Um, sort of like a wake up call to you guys. Yeah, yeah, it was a huge wake You're up call. You're not getting any younger. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure I said that, those words actually. <laughs> um, so after it happened, we, we all kind of got together and, and yeah, basically that was the whole thing is like, you know, we're, we're not getting any younger. And if we want to actually make something of ourselves, then we need to start taking it more seriously and, mm -hmm. and, um, and have the drive to, to keep going. And, and, uh, and that's what we did. We, we really took it more seriously. Uh, we, we started practicing once, twice a week, every Monday and Friday, whatever. And uh, yeah, about, it was about like two, three months after that, we, we got a, a show booked from uh, Marion, Marion Hyman. Um, and uh, yeah, it, it just kind of snowballed after that, you know, like it was, after that first show, people were like, oh, they, they're playing shows. So like, you know, more people started talking to us. We started playing more shows, more shows. And uh, it, was, it was only after Battle of the Bands because it was only after that that I realized that we're actually doing something. Like we're doing it. Yes. <laughs> we're doing what we're talked about. You know, we're, yeah, we're actually going somewhere. And this is, this is crazy. And uh, Okay, let's backtrack a little bit. Uh, mm -hmm. So the band, the band decided to get serious after the passing of your friend Jackson. Uh, he played uh, the bass, as I recall you telling me. Um, well, Jackson, he he played a variety of stuff. Um, he he would play bass sometimes when we were just you know messing around because I I mainly just play guitar and sing. So mm -hmm. when it was all of us, he would he would usually play bass. He I'm pretty sure he could play drums. Mm -hmm. um, guitar and stuff like that i i remember one time i came late and and jackson was just going crazy and singing it was like this thrash metal vibe and i couldn't believe it i was like whoa i didn't even know i didn't even know you could do that what are you doing <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, okay yeah, that so. brings me to my next question so you decided to become serious you were so that was the morphing of the ghoulie boys into swan ronson <laughs> yes yes <laughs> it like was that, right yeah. And so how did Swan Ronson, the name Swan Ronson, how did that come about? Um, well, basically, we, we, we had a, a full set list worth of songs. And we, we were ready to play a show. And, and we wanted to so bad, but we didn't have a name. Were these, were these cover songs or songs that you wrote yourself? Um, most of them at, at the beginning was all songs that I wrote. Okay. And uh, I, there was one cover that we played, which was uh, Lipstick by Winter Sleep. Mm -hmm. And um, so they were all basically originals. And uh, so we were all sitting around. We had all these songs, but we didn't have a name. And I remember Colton, Colton said just out of nowhere, he was, he was just like, what about Swan Ronson? And I was like, maybe, <laughs> maybe. We'll, we'll see. At the time, I was really hesitant. I was like, I don't know. Maybe well, it, we'll is, it, is, I, it is very unique, but it's a weird name when you first it hear is, it. It is, it is like for yeah. a band like Swan Ronson. <laughs> I know it's a band, but if you were to tell me just Swan Ronson in any context or any background, I would say, uh, Is that uh, what is that something in a menu of a Chinese restaurant? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I could believe so it. I could swans. believe it. Would you like the Swan Ronson? It's a swan cooked some it's a swan in uh, <laughs> I don't know, rabbitus and sauce. <laughs> Yeah, I, I could believe it. Or it could but, be a name um, of a street somewhere in Sweden or something. <laughs> yeah, the the funny thing about that I should mention is that What's I believe... What's ethnic background? Is he Nordic? Is he Scottish? I don't know what. <laughs> <laughs> um, we actually, we practice at Richie Brown's house mm -hmm. and his street is called Swanson Street. And oh, I think okay. that was what made Colton say it. Because okay. every day we're or every two times a week we're driving onto okay, Swanson okay. Street, and um, 
so yeah, that that's a little tidbit. I a guess. More, I guess. A little more to the name. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Got to give you something. <laughs> <laughs> so you mentioned your uh, uncle Dan McMillan, who I'm going to be in touch with to interview in this series of uh, musicians here in Fort La Bernie. Um, he gave you your recording equipment, and that's what sort of like got you started. Were yeah. you interested, even as a young boy, in music already, or? Oh, totally, totally, okay. absolutely. Um, I since the time I was born, um, I I've just been surrounded by a lot of really cool music and, and musicians like my uncle, even my dad, um, you know, he played guitar, not too seriously, but he, he played guitar mm -hmm. and he would sit me on his lap and, and get me to, to strum the chords while he held the chords with his other hand. And um, from my uncle Dan, who was incredible with, with his band, because he's always had his band since the time I was born, yeah. he's, he's always been playing with a band. What's the name um, of his band again? Is that is he part of Big Daddy's band or that's a different band? Um, well, he he plays with with different groups. I know okay. he he's played with Cruise Control and he's okay, played yeah. with with multiple different bands. I I think he has his own group just called the Dan Dan McMillan Band or, or something. like okay. that. Okay, I haven't um, come across them yet because I've encountered your uncle one time. He was playing some music for free at a Save On. Yeah, yeah, he does uh, a lot of stuff like that. Uh, Kingsway when Kingsway was still open uh, he used to jam with Cruise Control and uh, usually with Big Daddy yeah yeah, yeah. He, he's a bit of a floater actually like he, he goes around he's, he's well, out he there a solo act anyway. he's got quite the talent as well yeah yeah um, and, that, and that's what I mean uh, like when I was so young I, I was surrounded by by my Uncle Dan and uh, my Uncle Dave even like people members of my family who you know they didn't have bands but everybody had something to offer musically you know and um, my mom when I was really young she would always play all kinds of really cool music like Red Hot Chili Peppers uh, Jack Johnson and, and stuff like that and um, yeah my my I should mention too my uncle Dave uh, he is in the band the the new groovement if you've ever okay. heard of them he mm -hmm. plays trumpet in that band and they are oh, really? amazing yeah wow. yeah the new group amazing yeah so who have been your i can see you have a is that a poster of david Gooby or behind yeah. you? is that david Gooby? Hey, so <laughs> okay how has he been an influence in your music uh music career um, is he, or he's just incidentally there in your wall? <laughs> I think it's, I, I, I wouldn't want to say that David Bowie has like influenced my music because maybe like a little bit, but his music is so out there that mm -hmm. it's, it's kind of tough to say that. <laughs> I, I just really like David Bowie, honestly. So aside from David Bowie, who do you think has influenced you from the mainstream of music, the rock bands, the artists, or... Um, I think probably one of the biggest influences for me would be Jack Johnson, because I, I grew up on that kind of stuff. Uh, Jack Johnson, uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers. Um, oh, Red Hot Chili Peppers. Of course, they're Canadian. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, Tragically Hip, Steve Miller Band. Um, and and that was that was stuff that influenced me when I was really young. But as okay. as I got older, I kind of expanded into different stuff. And uh, one of my biggest influences now is a band called Modest Mouse. Okay. Um, and mainly their their vocalist Isaac Brock. His his lyrics are really inspiring to me. So I I try to I try to pull as much from that as I can. Um, um, a band called Deftones is a big, big influence for me. Um, and, and, and a lot of, a lot of random stuff too. I, I really, I really try to pull, pull things from really random, obscure kind of artists and stuff. Like there's this one band called, uh, the Fantasy Guys and, um, they're, they're really good. Um, I'm trying to remember when I first heard you in karaoke, I mean, I already took note of your voice that it was pretty good. But I, you usually don't pick the ordinary run-of-the-mill go-to karaoke songs. You pick something yeah. very different. 
Yeah. So I just, the, the, you know, the memory escapes me as of the moment, like what kind of songs she used to sing. Um, at karaoke, I really do a lot of Frank Ocean. And okay. Frank Ocean is incredible. He's one of my favorite artists of all time. Oh, there you um, go. Huge, huge man crush on Frank Ocean. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's amazing. Well, that brings you to my next question. Where do you draw your inspiration from? Um, what do you think? Like, like how do, do I get make, my motivation? Do you, make, kind of do you thing? smoke pot or eat edibles? No, <laughs> <laughs> That's the that's kind of funny because I I used to be a huge huge pot smoker. Okay. I used to be just a big hippie pot smoker and and that was all I did and I'd play video games and and smoke weed and um it was only after I quit smoking oh, really? weed. I I okay. quit smoking that's, weed about That's interesting. Yeah, yeah, I quit smoking weed about 2 years ago and it was only after that that I actually like really started taking music and I was like really pulling like I started listening to music more mm -hmm. after and I, I don't know how that works that's that's just my brain I guess well before I forget I thought I promise I'll give you credit because Skylar has gifted the wave with our upcoming jingle and our theme song and our theme music which is uh on the in the process of being edited and mastered and everything and pretty soon you're going to be hearing it right here in one of our episodes. And I would like to thank <laughs> Skylar because he donated that piece of work for us. Thank you very yeah, much. For sure. And so I would like to, uh, are you ready? If you like to ask you to sing a, a, a few lines of your song. Oh. You, do you have your guitar ready there? Yeah, yeah, I got it ready. Okay, here. cool. So I'd love to. While Skylar's getting ready, I'm just gonna sort of like uh, wrap this up a little bit. So Skylar is a uh, wonderful local artist here in Port Alberni. And his talent in music definitely adds to the wonderful Alberni Valley experience. So I have asked him before this interview uh, came about to prepare for us a few lines of a song so that you can uh, get to hear him sing a few, uh, a few tunes for us. And before you start, Skylar, again, where do we go to listen to your music? We can look up Swan Ronson on your YouTube channel. Yeah, uh, Swan Ronson on YouTube, uh, Swan Ronson on, on SoundCloud as well. And if you want to buy the song I'm about to play, you can find it on uh, Bandcamp for a dollar. Uh, and on Bandcamp, you got to look up uh, Blue Dream 47. I'm going to change the name to Swan Ronson on Bandcamp as well. Okay. But, uh, so yeah, right now it's, it's YouTube and SoundCloud and uh, Bandcamp as well. That's great. So it's Blue Dream 47 and in Bandcamp only. Yeah. 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 Well, thank God Ghoulie Boys is nowhere there. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us a little bit about the song. What was the inspiration? What's the message? The um, song that you're about to do for us. Yeah. So this song's called Love and Life. And uh, basically, like I was saying before, one of my biggest influences is Jack Johnson. And it, the song is definitely definitely a, a call to to that kind of style of playing which is just just kind of a chill uh positive vibe acoustic kind of vibe okay perfect and um yeah basically it's so without much ado skylar perry glenn with love and life take it away <laughs> skylar all right <clears throat> Maybe there's some song I can sing to make you wanna see that everything's okay with a combination of chords I can play to take the Say when you love life. 
Okay. We're not buying it yet. <laughs> if you got some time, you'll grab your mother, brother, sister, make each other feel like everything always gonna be alright. Get a couple drinks and you shake your body all night. A little music to take your soul for a ride. Everybody got very much Skylar that was wonderful thank you so much for taking the time to uh, talk to me today on the wave and uh, how do people get in touch with you like I'm sure so many people will after hearing listening to that song they would like to get to know you more and listen to more of your music so they go to YouTube Swan Ronson they go to the cloud Swan Ronson again yeah and um, then come and do you have a Facebook page we do. We do have a Facebook page. You can find us on Facebook as Swan Ronson. Um, we post a lot about our, our upcoming shows and, and music and stuff. It, it's more, if you want to be more informed about the band, then definitely go and check out the Facebook page. And we are on Instagram as well. Okay. Um, That's Swan Ronson as well? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, little... What it for Instagram? It's Swan underscore Ronson underscore Band, okay. and um, a little heads up: our Instagram is nothing but memes that we've made. <laughs> so it's the Instagram is is a bit so of the a Instagram scary is sort place. of like a spillover of your Ghouly Boys days. <laughs> yes, exactly, exactly. Yeah, it is. Uh, it is the Ghouly Boys in the Instagram. It's it's a it's a wasteland over there <laughs> <laughs> well there you have it ladies and gentlemen from uh the boys the ghoulie boys <laughs> to swan ronson no from ghoulie boys to what came about blue dream first then swan ronson or swan um, ronson? blue dream was blue just dream my the picture anyways yeah blue blue dream was just my youtube channel from way back when oh, like, okay. I, I made that when i was 16 so okay 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 from Blue Dream to Ghouly Boys to Swan Ronson. And so you can catch them. And remember, you heard them right here on The Wave. Thank you for joining us, ladies and gentlemen. We'll catch you next time on The Wave. <laughs>